and I can't reach this one, but look at this. We have a Jeepers Creepers throw up here. It says, what's eating you? I love Jeepers Creepers. Excuse me? Yes? No! Ah! Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today we are in Boardman, Ohio, going into this Spirit Halloween back here, which is right beside a Bed Bath & Beyond the Grave. And on my way over here, I was mad because my GPS took me to the wrong place, so I had to look up that other Nate Guys video because he's already been out here and filmed this Spirit Halloween, so I had to look and see exactly where it was at. And he happened to turn the camera where I could see the Bed Bath & Beyond, and then he said, over there, there's a canes so i was like all right i can find it and let me just say this is a sweet looking store look at the enormous sign up there there are some stores that have tiny tiny little signs i don't get it this one has the right size sign and look at this they also have the posters in the window and they have the word halloween across the front okay let's go ahead in guys because i am very curious to see what it looks like at this spirit halloween in boardman ohio oh and already guys i am seeing some things that i haven't seen in other stores it is always so much fun walking right in the front doors of a spirit halloween look at this right up front in this store guys we have mac straw i've said it before and i'll say it again i love how every single time i come into one of these stores so far at least they have somebody else standing in this position over here i believe that's where the ringmaster is supposed to be whenever he arrives but until then we have mac straw all right let's get old mackie going here come on mackie hmm he's not moving come on mackie what's going on there move for us <laughs> show us your moves old mackie's got the sounds going on but he's not showing us his moves who do you think moves better old mackie or that weird break dancer from the Olympics. I choose old Mackie. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Ghostface over here. I'm never gonna come in these stores and not look at the animatronics, guys. We see them all season long doing the same thing. But I can't resist to watch every single one of them. Check this out, I love how as he's slashing, his other arm is just going wobble, wobble, wobble. Let's watch that again. All right, here we go. Watch the other arm, it's gonna wobble. It's the death wobble. <laughs> Check it out, his arm's doing the death wobble. All right, we have got a lot to see in this store, guys. This is a pretty big store. I can already see just peeking through that there's a lot of stuff set up back here. But I want to come over here and show you some of the stuff that I saw when I walked in that I have not seen yet. And look at this. One of them is this guy right here. E.T. 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 Oh, my Lord. I cannot believe they have such an awesome E.T. plush in this store this year. I absolutely love E.T. Look at the tag right there. That right now takes me right back to 1985. Was it 1985 when it came out? I can't remember. How much is he? He is $34.99, and I believe I have a 20% off coupon. I almost choked on that word. A 20% off coupon, so I very likely will be buying E.T. today. Do they have any others? Should I keep it in my hand? I don't see any others sitting here. All right, I'm buying E.T. Wait a minute, in bringing him up here, I just discovered he has a try me button inside his hand and his finger lights up. Look at that, that solidifies it. I'm taking this guy home with me today. Oh my gosh, what a cool find, guys. All right, let's look at some of this other plush because what in the world is this guy from the Black Lagoon? That is too funny. 
I, I am 100% sure he is the creature from the Black Lagoon. But why is it a Black Lagoon and he's green? Look at this, we got a JoJo's ice cream truck with the killer clown in it. That is pretty awesome, look at his face. What in the living world is that thing? <laughs> all right, holy crap, I'm having too much fun in here already. This is from the Corpse Bride, all right? That explains it, because I have not seen the Corpse Bride yet. If you guys have been watching the videos, you know that I bought both the animatronics, Emily and Victor, and I bought the movie. This is from the Corpse Bride. This just makes me want to watch it even more. Oh my gosh, the face on that guy. Of course, we have Beetlejuice here. Whoa, he's stuck in there. Okay, Beetlejuice, stay stuck. Is this Lydia here? Yeah, it is. This is Lydia. Okay. Holy crap, look at Elvira. Just look real quick, because we're going to turn that around and put her back. She is not child-friendly. But what is this guy? He's child-friendly, even though he has ribs sticking out. And look at this one here. Holy crap. These are pretty dang cool. I don't even know what they are, but I'm sure people are going to tell me this is a bat. And wait, we have one more here. It's an armless creature. An armless bunny creature. Wait, it is even called Numb Bunny. All right, Numb Bunny. I would be numb too if I didn't have any arms. All right, I'm having too much fun in here, guys. Let's come over here to the Wheel of Death. Anytime I see the Wheel of Death, I have got to spin the Wheel of Death. Let's see if I live today or die. Where is it going? Spin again or else. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay. Will I live or die? Will I keep my skin or live again? Lose a turn better than your head. Okay, that'll do. All right, we're back where we started, guys. Let's go on through the carn evil here. Somebody was talking about the hope that spirit will in the future bring a jack reaper animatronic i'm not sure really what he would do but i think he would probably just sway back and forth and he would make like maybe laughing sounds and his eye would be lit up okay here we go fun house of terror we're gonna go through their last i can already hear guys going on over here look at who we have set up right here right now this guy is absolutely enormous and he is rising from the grave i am the guardian of tormented souls you have crossed over into my world now you will endure eternal pain <laughs> wow he actually rises up pretty high and look at the size of those meat hooks. What the heck? Those are some enormous meat hooks. <laughs> Let's just watch him one more time because I want to see him rising from the grave. Just see how high he goes. He is awesome. He almost comes all the way up to the third light bulb there. And I love how his chest lights up. That is so cool. All right, let's move on because check this out, guys. For the first time, oh my gosh, for the first time I see Michael Myers in the store. We're going to go over there in a minute. But for the first time set up in a store, we have both Victor and Emily. Wait, is it the first time? Did I see them in one other store maybe? Maybe it was the first store I went into, I don't remember. But here they are in all their glory. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hear them because it's pretty loud in here, but they are awesome. I bought them and you can hear them in my video perfectly clear. I will write your way in dust with this ring. This is the point of no return. Your yeah, it's really difficult to hear them. Let's see if they have them connected. Once he finishes talking, and then he'll stop, and she, yep, they have him connected. I do. You make the bride. She is amazingly louder than him. Yeah, when they have that wire that connects between the two of them, they will just go back and forth and back and forth through every one of their phrases. I just wish that, like, before one of them stopped, 
the other one would start so it was like more fluent and it flowed better. Hello, ugly. All right, let's move on down to Barnaby the bear with his paws. I think that is hilarious how he's so vicious and wants to kill you. Wait, there's a string. Oh, that's part of his fur, sorry, sir. He's vicious and he wants to kill you. And then he has like these soft, loving paws that he could hug you with. All right, let's go ahead and get him going here. Is that him? Yeah, okay. I like how he's really loud in here too. And then of course we can't pass up the jumping spider. I think we're gonna have to turn him a little bit though because he's gonna jump into the ball. All right, see if we can get him going. Come on, Mr. Spidey, here he comes. Yeah, I think, is this the first time we've seen a jumping spider this season, guys? All right, let's move on over to this line of stuff right here because I have to look at the Michael Myers really quick just in case somebody else comes in and snatches him up. I'm not sure what I think of him. I'm not really a fan of the Halloween 2 look, but I know it's probably way too expensive to get the original Halloween license. And then they always stick some kind of corny music with him. And I don't remember. I don't think I liked the music when I saw the video of this one, but he does look much better than I thought he would look. I really wish they had him set up because I would like to see him working in person before I really make a judgment on him. At least his hair, at least his hair looks better in this like than some of them where it's just like this big fluffy hair that never really existed all right anyways let's back up here for a minute because we have a demonic gatekeeper oh he's only 199.99 i thought he was a lot more than that we got the ghost face sound maker over here we have a dagger mic oh look we have a cremator in the store right here guys how cool is that he reminds me of fezzik from uh, The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant, when he's dressed up in the cloak and he's on fire. All right, let's move over here because we have an Emmeline peeking out over here. That's cool. We got a scary, two scary sitting scarecrows. Looks like we actually have two more scary sitting scarecrows on the other side. We got a howling spirit, guys. Holy crap. We got another Emmeline over here. We got a Wanda Webworth. Wait a minute. What in the world? Reduced, now only $134.99. That is half price for Wanda Webworth. Why do we have a Bobby Strings uh, placard sitting here? $135 for Wanda Webworth. She must be broken or something. I bet she was the display and something broke because we got this guy over here. And here is Wanda Webworth. But underneath her, we have the giant death ray. Excuse me, sir. I'll talk to you in a minute. Over here, we have one, two Gordos. Whoa, wait a minute. We have some of the tumblers that everyone is going gaga over this season. Look at this. A bleeding heart, sparkly Tumber. Wait, what? Tumber? I call it a tumber because I saw the pig or whatever, the bear or whatever that thing is, and it threw me off. Bleeding Heart Tumbler. Who is that? You guys tell me what's up with that because I just don't know. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas. This one is pretty dang sweet. We got this one with ghosties all over it. Oh, and the ghostie has a pumpkin in his hand. And then down here we have the purple ones with Wednesday. That is really cool. I'm not weird. Everyone else is. Of course, then down on the bottom, we have this black one with skulls. That looks pretty cool, too. All right, let's come back to where we were. We got two Gordos over here. We have a man's possessed friend over here. And wait till you see what is to my right. First, we're going to look to the left. Holy crap, look at this. Guys, how in the world do we have three Cerberuses in this store? <laughs> the three-headed dog was $199, now he is $129.99 right here, right now in Boardman, Ohio at the Spirit Halloween. And then right across from that, look at this. I have not seen this guy in any stores just yet until today. The Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worm. Not only do they have one, but they have two. That is an enormous box. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. That is so cool. When I first 
saw that from the corner of my eye. I thought it was some kind of a Beetlejuice thing from the new movie, since it's orange, but it's not. It's from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And look, he's eating a Christmas tree. Look at this, all three of these guys are going at once over here. All right, let's go on over and check them out. Like, this guy, Nibbles, must just be on one continuous uh, cycle, because I don't think he's shut up yet. Excuse me, sir, have you shut up yet? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the phone down lower and see if he will follow me with that sensor on his nose. <laughs> He's not following me, but it's probably because I have the phone in my hand. All right, we got the night terror over here, and I noticed as I'm standing here watching, his face is staying lit up. That light has not gone out on his face at all, but he doesn't activate until we walk up here. Hello, sir. Do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> he looks like that E.T. plush that I just bought. All right, and last but not least in this section here, we have Cotton Candy Dan. Look at Cotton Candy Dan's hair. Look at how it's like. He looks like he just walked through a car wash. Did you just walk through a car wash, sir? All right, let's get him going here. Come on, Dan. With your one eye. Sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes Here it's we go. Come on, sir. His face is, like, melting away. All right, Dan, I think we've heard enough out of you. Let's leave a couple of stickers for this curious guy right here. I could just stand here and look at this all day long, watching these animatronics move up and down and back and forth and around and around and around and around. But let's go ahead and take a walk through the store because we have got the rest of the entire store to check out here, guys. Whoa, look at this. It is a Garfield the Cat backpack excuse me sir your hand is going the wrong way and it looks like he's holding on to your back and riding that is hilarious i don't know if this is new for this year or if you've seen it before winnie the pooh honey cross body bag we got the giant scooby-doo masks here these are totally awesome here's what i think somebody should do we got a whole section here at spirit halloween of the Scooby-Doo costumes. Look at this, we got Daphne, we got Velma, we got Shaggy, we got Fred, and we have Scooby, including the jumpsuit up here. Somebody should take their whole family, buy all these costumes, dress up like the gang, and then get those two under the sea animatronics from Lowe's. That would be sweet. Don't you think so, sir? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving through here. I'm tempted to go over here in the middle, so you know what? Let's do it. Let's just go right on over here in the middle. This is a this is a Snuggie. I thought it was just a fleece blanket. It's a Snuggie that has pumpkins and skeletons on it, or skulls. Skull Pumpkins Snuggurami. Okay. We've got some awesome plushies over here. We got Jack Skellington. We have Sally. We have this guy. I don't know what his name is. We have the brown Oogie Boogie and we have the green Oogie Boogie with all the bugs in his teeth. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing some plush blankets that I've never seen before, guys. I'm seeing some awesome slippers over here. But before we look at those, let's go around the rest of the store and see if there's any animatronics or anything that we've missed so far just big animatronics we'll make our way around back over here in just a minute because this is an enormous store what in the world is this a ghost face light up porch buddy how does that even exist without me knowing about it. It's huge. Like, look how huge it is. It's bigger than my own head. Oh, and he has a button on the bottom, so he even lights up, I think. Okay, I don't hear anything, and I can't see if he's lit up or not because it's so light in here, but I'll bet you anything, his whole face lights up. Look how cool he is. He is $49.99. A legit ghost face light up blow mold. That's the kind of thing that makes this store so much fun to come into, guys. There's always so many things that you've never seen. Like, look at this. 
What? Trick or treat articulated Sam statue. All right, we have push the try me button. What's he gonna do? Is he making sound? I can't tell if he makes sounds over the sound in the store here, but I think he is. Yeah, he's making sounds, he's playing music, but you just can't hear it because of the music overhead. Articulated though, that means that he has joints, so maybe you can actually pose him. Yeah, you can move his arms around, check this out. Highly detailed sculpt with 13 points of articulation. That's like a G.I. Joe guy. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. All right, let's keep on moving around here. There is so much stuff to see in here, but I'm still on the hunt for other animatronics just in case they have them creeping around the corners. Okay, here's some stuff back here. We got a Grave Watcher here, and of course we have a whole plethora of jumping spiders. It looks like we have the black jumping spider, the brown jumping spider, we have the black and red jumping spider, but I believe this year they have a gray jumping spider, and I don't see him. Oh, look at this, the tiny terrors. We have a ghost face in here. We have a Pennywise, and look down here, guys. We have Michael Myers' tiny terror. He is very awesome. Now, I surprised myself because amazingly, I have not bought any of these tiny terrors yet. Unless he's in a different area in the store, we are missing Leatherface. I think they all look totally awesome, but I just haven't bought any for myself yet. I don't know why, probably because there's just so much stuff to buy that I keep spending all this money. Money doesn't grow on spooky trees, you know. Let's leave a couple of stickers for that guy and that guy and that guy. And look down here, we have a zombie baby that I have not yet seen in the stores. His name is Hiding Henry. I think he's gonna play peekaboo. Let's see what he does. He's talking, ooh! <laughs> I crack myself up. Oh my gosh, he is hilarious. Can you hear him? He's kind of quiet. Listen. He's laughing at us because he peekabooed us. And look at this, he has a mad duck on his shirt. That is hilarious. Let's see if this one's any louder. Come on now. No, he's not louder, but he is awesome. We have the angel baby who loves singing. We have the pumpkin eater, Gutsy Gwen. <laughs> laughing as she munches on the pumpkin guts. And of course we have the hand eater and we have the spider eater, Spider Biter Billy. And let's not forget about the zombie baby's cradle and the zombie baby's chair. I don't see the Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher! I don't see the Jack Reaper archway. Whoa, but I do see one I've never seen before. The light up inflatable owl. Look at that, Moloch on a headstone. We got some light covers over here, guys. So we have seen the skeleton light cover before, and we have seen the purple clown light cover, but I don't think we've seen yet the pumpkin and the cat. Look at that, the secret keeping cat. As you come up to the door, you're like, trick or treat, and he's like, no, I'm not gonna tell you any secrets, thank you. Hello, rat. Hello, creeping cats. I love this guy right here, this latex crow. Look at the look on in his eye. He's just watching me like he wants to peck me so bad. They don't have him like zombified or anything. But the thing is, you don't need a crow to be zombified. He is scary as it is. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Tomb of the Lost Souls? I know I haven't been in very many stores yet this season, but I have not seen this in any of them yet. The Tomb of the Lost Souls. Is there a, and like an animatronic or something that is slated to be standing right there? That is pretty creepy looking. Look at the glowing eyes on the guys, on, on these guys. I get so excited, I wanna say other words first. They look like aliens ready to come get me. Aliens from the Tomb of the Lost Souls. And what in the world is this guy right here? Have we ever seen this before? I don't think I've ever seen this. This is a crazy snail with a skull on its back. Who even thinks up these things? Probably the same guy who thought up this sick thing. Disgusting. 
disgusting! Whoa, wait a minute, guys. This is unbelievable. We just keep seeing things that I have never seen before. Not only do we have the empty soul girl on a swing, we have two ghastly ghost girls on a swing. How have I never seen this thing before? How? She does seem kind of familiar, but yeah, I don't think I've seen her before. How cool. We got the creepy crimson girl on a swing up here too. You could get these and have a whole playground of swinging chicks. The ghastly chick, the empty chick, and the creepy chick. And then you could throw in a hook head hog and a hook eye guy. Although I don't think they'd be too impressed with his bad breath. They'd be like, you need the aqua fresh. Speaking of aqua fresh, wait a minute. Look at this. It, this is one that I don't think I've seen before either. Although it kind of looks like the dude that's, I think he's bald. He looks exactly like this, but this one just has hair. Ooh, have I seen this hanging ghost before? I love how the head kind of hangs down. We got a try me button. The eyes, ooh, look at that, they change colors too. That's pretty cool. I don't hear it making any sound though. Man, guys, this store is absolutely stocked. Look at this, we got the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. That one's always difficult to say. We have the burning skull pathway markers. Uh-oh, they're not working. We have the jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. We have the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. Another one. Oh, okay, it's just in a different box. And we have the doll head pathway markers. Let's see, yeah. Oh, she lights up green, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, all right, let's keep making our way around here. Back around to here, we have the sitting scarecrow hiding behind the pillar, and look at this. Look what they brought out while we were in the rest of the store, the atomic ray gun from Mars Attacks. As far as I know, that's kind of a difficult one to get this year. $129.99. That is pretty dang awesome. All right, I said that we would look at this stuff, so let's come on back over here to these blankets and the slippers. There's a couple of them on here that I've never seen, starting with this one from the Adams Family. When we're together, darling, every night is Halloween. That's what I'm talking about. We got this awesome Ghostbusters throw. That's cool. I bet that would look awesome under a black light. And I can't reach this one, but look at this. We have a Jeepers Creepers throw up here. It says, what's eating you? I love Jeepers Creepers. Excuse me? Yes? What, no! ah! what in the world just happened? I just got what are those? Let's come over here and look at these blankets. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Check this out, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it looks like the VHS tape cover, that is awesome. I'm pretty sure I have seen the rest of these, so let's go ahead and look at these flippers over here. Okay, they're not flippers, they're slippers. But we got Chucky here, that is pretty cool. We got Stitch, who is this? Batman! We got The Simpsons! We got Harry Potter. We got Deadpool. That looks cool. <laughs> we got Garfield. Look how big Garfield's head is. We got the Minions. What is this? Oh, it's Gremlins. It's Gizmo. We got South Park down here. We got another South Park. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. One more place to finish looking at, and that is over here. Guys, there is just so much stuff in this store right here that I have never laid my eyes on before. Like this light up oogie boogie. How cool is that guy? Oh my gosh, look at his teeth. It lights up with blue worms. Oh, a lot of people are looking for this, guys. The Art Krispies box, bloody rice cereal with marshmallows. Now I have seen All Hallows Eve and I have seen the first Terrifier movie, but maybe this is like something in one of the other ones that makes more sense. Oh my gosh, sick. Based on that marshmallow right there, please never see Terrifier if you are a child. But how cool is it that they have that in this store right here, right now? Everybody's looking for it. I personally think this is more awesome. The Lost Boys, check that out. All this stuff is so cool. Check it out, the Bates Motel sign down here that's flashing. We have a good guy's Chucky up here like he's in his box. Be eating you from Jeepers Creepers. We got Barbara and Adam in the flashing here 
size Beetlejuice cemetery headstone. And even though there are still tons of things in here to see, guys, we have more stores to go to. So we're gonna finish this one off with this guy down here. I didn't see him hiding around the corner. The Trick or Treat Sam light up porch buggy. I call him a buggy, light up porch buddy. He's another blow mold, just like the ghost face right over here. Those are awesome. And with that, we're gonna leave a couple more stickers around the store here before we take off. Let's put a couple down there. Let's give a couple to the sitting scarecrow, couple to the howling spirit. And then let's put some in the cup, the cup, the cup, the cup. Okay, wow. That was a fun store, guys. And what the heck, there is a cyber truck over here. I think that thing's bigger than my Hummer.